Hey y'all, it's early in the morning, and I decided to do something to my hair because it was feeling a little dry, so I'm about to do a two puff style. You will see the style that I finished in this video. It's kind of in my head right now, but you will see it as I go along. And the products I'll be using today are the Aussie Moist Conditioner, some old Eco Styler I found that I had in the bathroom, some shiny gel, a wide tooth comb, a detangling brush, a regular brush, a regular comb for parting, and some water. My water bottle's beat up, but ignore that. So, I already kind of wet my hair down. I kind of detangled one side. And I parted off a little tendril here for later. So what we're going to do is, we're going to wet it a little bit more. Add some of this Aussie Moist just a little bit because you don't want too much conditioner in your hair, especially if you just used some not too long ago. So we'll add a little bit of that Aussie Moist. Get them ends good. Or get it to the ends. And yes, my finger's still injured, but I can do more things now than I could maybe a week and a half ago, so it's all good. a little bit of eco I'm gonna just slap that through my hair in some parts nothing too crazy take a little bit of the shiny jam put that on your front edges it ain't got to be perfect put some of that in the back and grab you some rubber bands and get ready to start doing the next section all right, y'all. So now we're gonna start braiding the back upward to start off this style. I'm gonna get my detangling brush and just brush that up a little bit. And now I'm gonna try and get this braid as tight as I can in the back of my head. And stop when I get to about the uh, top of my ear. All right. But anyway, so. Get your three sections and braid back. All right. And now you just Catch up the two buns like this. <sighs> All right, y'all. I'm back with the other side. My edges kind of swoop and did their own thing on that side. Take some more of this eco and I'm gonna slap it on like this. Just to feel different. You know, slap some eco on the back parts where you're gonna braid. You don't have to put too much, but just enough where your hair can kind of hold. Cause for me, eco sometimes makes my hair flake, so I don't wanna put too, too much. Then put a little shiny jam on them edges, girl. And let them things slip themselves into these braids. Keep that front part sleek. I'm going to probably have to end up redoing this in a few days. Because sometimes when I sleep, my scarf will still be coming off. But get through the back of that hair. Make sure it's detangled good. Make sure you have enough water on your hair so that way it's manageable. Because, girl, if I ain't got no, I ain't got no water in my hair. 
can't be dry. So make sure it has enough water, gel, and edge control. Make sure it's going through real good. Got too much conditioner on these tendrils. And yes, I just learned the name recently, so that's why I can't stop saying it. Hmm. I kind of like the tendrils down like this. Show off my curls. But I also kind of like them braided with little puffy ends. I think I might do braided ends, but let's get this one moisturized like it's twin. curl patterns in different parts of my head I noticed these over here my little tendrils are a little bit tighter than up here and then back here is tighter and then the middle's big but my hair is not really like curling curling right now because I had my ends previously braided up so anyways let me get some of this eco just you know braid them so that way they match the top portion you have little braids and not all the way to the end of course because who wants to put a rubber band in a braid that's small but you know have the ends doing their own thing if I can get them to <laughs> curl up with them being braided I think I'm gonna go for the braided look just to see how it looks but yeah, I like the braided look. It was coincidental because I just kind of twisted them and braided them up to get them out the way so I wouldn't braid them back into my puffs. But I kind of like this style. Here's the back. Let me show you the full back. And let me show you how I put my glasses on with two little danglies. I put them on on top and have them kind of pressing them down like this. And this style should last me for a few days. I really do like it. So thank you for watching. And right, right quick before I log out, before I sign out. Since I have my Powerpuff Girls shirt, I'm going to accessorize just a little bit. I think I'm going to put some red and one yellow accessory on maybe let's just go with red uneven but it's alright put some cuffs on to match your outfit <clears throat> put on your mask and go about your day so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this style and see you next time